Hi, this is Tony Teolis at todolisthome.com. Today I'm getting ready to go out and feed the bees for the first time in the spring. It's uh, March 10th, but it's 60 degrees outside. I want to checkerboard the hive. But just your beekeeping tip of the day, I got this from Don, the fat bee man in Georgia. And I've got here a uh, about a one and a half to one ratio of uh, sugar to water. And what I'm going to put in it to uh, get the bees nice and healthy, I really can't do a lot of invasive varroa control right now with any chemicals because it's not quite warm enough with the things that I have, and they're not really chemicals. I have formic acid and um, I have thymol, and neither one can be used right now. It's still too cold to, for either of those applications. So to keep the bees healthy and... Uh, Viral against the Varroa destructor. I'm going to powder sugar dust them, but I'm also going to feed them this uh, wonderful sugar water here with a mixture of some honey be healthy. And I'm going to mix this up with some essential oils in the blender first so that they emulsify well. As far as my essential oils go, I have lemongrass and my recipe here calls for five drops of lemongrass, and these handy little bottles allow you to do just that. Okay, there's five drops of lemongrass, and 15 drops of spearmint, and I'm going to go ahead and, and it's about 15 right there, and 20 drops of wintergreen. I'm going to go ahead and try to count out 20 drops right there, and that should be good. Now. These essential oils will help keep the bees healthy and they'll help to uh, combat any mites that may be living uh, inside or outside of the bees, at least we hope so. So, stay tuned. The next video will be of me actually checkerboarding the hive. That's the tip for the day.